What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dorkatron Prime. We finally got some BT6 on camera and we have my friend Daniel here. He's gonna be sharing to us his Titan um Titanmon purple deck profile. And I just wanted to share with you guys so at least we're getting some type of content out there for BT6. Sorry about the wait, you know, with the delays with North America and everything. Everything's being pushed back a bit, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And we got some good old wholesome decks to begin with. We're gonna start showing you Titanmon. The setup for the eggs is quite simple. The new Swimon, it just does everything you want, lets you cycle through, you're running four of it. And I enjoyed the, the Gmon, it comes in with extra 2k, it's been clutch a few times, just getting Titanmon big. I've even gotten other Digimon to be able to check security ultimates and such. And this is very efficient. For the rookies, the lineup's actually quite simple. You have a lot of spots, but there's two Digimon that are MVP, especially in this deck. Is the starter deck Gabumon. Basically, on attack, you draw a card, discard one, it, it activates Titanmon, it activates uh, memory gain, draws from your egg. And the other that I feel like it's kind of very mandatory, especially in this meta, is Gazi. BT6, everyone has memory boost, and people are trying to play, get to pop off, and you just need to be, have a memory blocker in this meta. Uh, interesting cards for rookies is the new Elecmon, because most of the time you're going to be cheating out these rookies and bringing them back, so you want them to have some form of decent effect, and Elecmon just does something against both the Bond matchups, uh, uh, Bond of Friendship, and killing rookies when he dies and you're probably sacrificing for an effect is just too efficient. And then a play set of the two drops. Could be your Candlemon, Devimon, but you just need ways to choke out your opponent when you can. And one Guillemon, I'm trying to see if I can fit a second, but once you have one in the grave, you get to do four Raumon combos, which I'll show you later. But it, the one memory sometimes is quite relevant. So if these are rookies, let's put them over here. Then we're going to champions. Champions when stuff starts getting spicy, it's where the deck gets its tools. A lot of these champions you just toss to the grave and you get to cycle them later. We're on a single copy of Ogremon. I've been trying to fit a second one. It's very important to be able to pop blockers for free. Or, and it also activates your Titanmon on, pre on turns after the Digivolve. Uh, two, two Vilemon, because sometimes in, uh, in non-bond matchups you just need a blocker. And there's ni nice combos where you can have your 6k blocker and give him retaliation so Jessmon can't just swing for free. Where the uh, champions start coming into play, getting most value. You start running Genkulmon Promote Package. It lets you get your Titanmon to, uh, to only cost you uh, three memories instead of four. It gives you draws. It lets you do a bunch of OTK setups. And to be able to get the power up, you run the King Kaku. King Kaku is not the best, but it's also an activator to activate your, your Titanmons plus security plus DP. And then the good old boy. Run, I run him at four just to get the extra memory for Titanmon even, and uh, the other Mega to not cost four, and lets you combo, because many times you can even bring this out, get it on underneath, and then cheat, uh, toss something else, gain memory plus, and just, this deck has a lot of fun plays, interesting plays that get to you, just keep pushing you ahead. The fives, it's quite simple. I. Blackboard Growls, this meta's too quickly. You need to be able to, to knock out your opponent's security in a turn or two. And Blackboard Growl with a Titanmon plus security, it, it gets you there. It lets you pop out rookies that you bring back rookies with such a Lekmon just to clear out enemy board while freestanding. Depending on what you see, you get combos. Two Skull Grays. Skull Gray is just amazing. You can toss him to give retail to like a blocker or your main dude so you don't get runned over. And 
you will have also many times digivolve on top to be able to activate uh, a titan mon that's already on the uh, on the field on attacking toss a card activate your draws activate memory gains and he becomes 10k depends even i've had a digimon underneath and he's hit swinging for 12k and just digimon on top and then two copies of rebellion it's great it block a retaliation it, it's sometimes the the, the the best part is just that you can toss things you sometimes just need to toss a card into the grave you need to maybe i, I always try to toss this the king kaku into the grave as soon as possible so you can start setting up promotes coming back from the from being cheated out by your megas for free let's move these around and let's get to the good old meat of the deck You're running the good old titan one it just if this deck had come one one set sooner it, it would put lord knight in its place it, it's 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 a decent deck. It it has tough matchup against the Bonds, but it puts a lot of other decks in check. And if the Bonds don't see their pieces, you you can double check, you can take forward their security, and then end the turn with it having retaliation or even a, a level seven, which I'll show. The other two of just to see more pieces, Massamons, you still get to bring back King Kaku's, get a memory. It below for burn something, have rush, swing. Basically, Massimon gets three damage on a person. Even if you have a, word, a black ward route, you can get four. And then just to end the turn, sword defeats. Uh, I'm a big advocate of always, if you're running black or purple, run sword defeat. It's just cheap, it just improves whatever your, your, turn, your level six is and has something that's very annoying, especially, and it's just super strong in bond. The bond matchups. I've literally won bond matchups I shouldn't have won by just going into my Titan Mon, getting some checks, passing turn by killing their their tamer. And it's just good. It's a two of, and then certain more uh, options that help you in the bond matchup. Two fly bullets. They're nice for chess mods if they didn't kill you in a turn or get check and security. Uh, Underworld Call, you can use it for cycle to draw since you pitch it. But you also get to do cheesy ass wins with Promote. You get to bring out Promote, gain a memory, drop it down to a three cost, swing. And for memory play, two mats. Sometimes you bring you can bring out a piece that you need to recycle. Most of the time just to get you a three memory. And then two of the basic purple memory boosts. Um, this just extends plays. It lets you give you consistency. Titanmon's a deck that you you don't need a lot of pieces. You find Titanmon, you find our way up there, you get a few pieces into the grave, and you can pop off. It's, it's a great deck. It's so much fun. Um, hope you boys enjoyed uh, the deck profile. We will be bringing a few more since we now have. BT6 in the shop. Hope you guys enjoy.